Hi, Kevin Blanche. Let's talk about the dumping of the nuclear waste into the ocean. Let's talk about the implications in a serious manner. Let's talk about plutonium. Let's talk about all the elements in cement fuel rods, in nuclear cores, what they are, what they're all about. Now, we have a ladder of evil elements that exist in these things. And right at the top of the ladder is King P.U. plutonium, the most evil substance on the face of the earth. Now let's talk about how this freaking works and what goes on. Look, plutonium, as it is dispersed, we only we know this from the atomic veterans. Now, granted, granted, I get in debates with these people. My father and the rest of them were put at ground zero. They were very close, very close, within a mile or two. Some of them within hundreds of yards. My father, right there. Granted, they were exposed heavily. Those open air bombs went over. But there's other tests we need to talk about too in this context that we know about. Let's remember the actors that were doing the movies in Southern Utah in the Red Locks in national at, uh, in the national parks, including John Wayne. Let's talk about their incident of cancer years later, and they were well 150 miles, 200 miles away as it dispersed and sprinkled down on them. It was plutonium. It's plutonium that is the killer. And it kills many years later. And that incidence went way up. People say, well, there's never been a real good study on that. Well, there has been. Granted, I agree, small subset, but their incident cancer went way, way, way up, including John Wayne. Let's talk about the downwinders, the school children. They were encouraged by the government. The teachers took their kids out and they watched it. Most of that was right around 200 miles away, as the raven flies, as I'd like to say. Not the crow. Edgar Allan Poe could have a heyday write poetry about this evil shit. But anyway, as the raven fly 200 miles, 250 miles away, sprinkled out the kids, played in the schoolyard water. We know, we know, because the data's in there, that it was 30 years later, thereabouts, in many cases, 40 years later, plutonium works like this. Plutonium takes all kinds of crazy little freaking formats when it's dispersed into water, into the environment, being it catches onto particles, sun rays, whatever. When it enters the body, into the bloodstream, it goes into the bone marrow. It gets into the bone marrow. Okay, in the bone marrow, it lays there. Soon as that freaking body gets its opportunity and chance, believe it or not, my father's was triggered by bee stings. I've done so much reading, so much research on it. As soon as that body gets a little bit of weak from anything, boom! Out it comes, there goes the freaking blood cell count, leukemia, it's over, it's over. I mean, you, you're not going to survive this thing. It's a cute blast, it's the evil of the evil. Like I said, it's plutonium. And people say, well, well, it's in water. If you think water, it's, it's less dangerous in water than air, you're a fool. There are studies out that show it is more dangerous. The synergies that happen within the seawater. God only knows, really, God only knows. There has not been a bunch of data done. And as far as the court systems go on the downwinders, you read into the court systems of the downwinders, you know, and the United States government finally took a line and just drew it at the Jewab County line in Utah. You think that fog just stopped at the county line. If you think it just stopped at the Utah Colorado, no way. There's been studies that I've read that it spread out all the way across the United States. And in the context, I'm, I'm working on my book. I'm almost done with my book on my father. And I've done so much research on this for years and years and years. I have trouble finishing it. I get into points when I get so extremely emotional. I mean, I'm, I'm a master at turning on emotions off and on. I learned doing that as a derivative trader as a young man via the school of hard knocks. I've gotten so good at it, but I really, I get so extremely emotional freaking revisiting this because it, it's so hard for me, but I'm getting there. I'm almost done. But in my research, I always presume that they had their human lab rats and they took their best human lab rats, the Marines at Pendleton, and they says, okay, they're sitting there waiting. But through my research, the way I believe that it worked, and I like to say this is a documentary, not a commentary, and everything I've said on most of my videos is document. This piece is commentary because I don't know this fact, but this is what I believe through my research. They didn't have a certain group. These are going to be the groups that go in the trenches. The call comes a bit. Well, I know this for a fact. They would wait till the wind was blowing properly across the Utah desert. It wasn't growing towards Los Angeles, the major pleasure. And when that when that wind shifted, the call went into Pendleton. I know this for a fact. The call's going to Pendleton. Get them here. Blast's going tomorrow. 
they would line up the dignitaries, the dignitaries would show up, you know, they would be sitting in hotel rooms in Nevada, Las Vegas, California, get them up here, we're going to do this in two days, or tomorrow, this is when we think the wind's going to be blowing here. I think whatever combat ready, they had the Marines combat ready, they would have them headed to Korea, and or Vietnam, Pendleton Marines, most of them, okay, the call would go in, they had those guys, told them they're headed to Korea, went in there, trenched them, and I know this for a fact, my father was very close to the trenches. They blast, he almost died in the blast. Then, they gave my iodine tablets before and after. They fed them LSD after, that is no bullshit. I know this, I've dug into this and uncovered all kinds of stuff like this. They fed them LSD. But anyway, it was the plutonium years later. You know, and I always thought they took their most healthy lab rats. My father was a man with not a cavity, just, I mean, just a specimen, big time specimen. But I think it was, oh, and I got to think of what Marine isn't a healthy specimen. You know, who can't go through, especially in that era. You know, so I, that's what they did, and then they all died of leukemia via the plutonium. It is the plutonium that is the evil, evil killer. The plutonium, years later, it takes all kinds of forms. Now look, as we're going into the water like here, and it, the fish eat it, look at these birds. Okay, you got birds floating around there. Their bodies are getting soaked up with the plutonium. You're, they're close, but they eat the fish. They eat, well, you know, the mammals eating the plankton all over. There's plenty of freaking species live on plankton in the ocean. Okay, then it changes into the bird. The birds fly. You know, some of them migrate, some of them just go up and down the coast, goes all over. Poof. What they go in, they shit out on the fields. They fly into the fields and as they migrate, into the farmer's fields, eat the things. It's there, it's scary. It's really freaking scary. I'm a nervous wreck about the whole thing. Like I said, it's hard to get your freaking hands around any data. And even even the so-called dummy down analysts who are pro-nuke, 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 even they're saying now, you know, because they, they can't do their lies no more. Everybody's on to them and, you know, the, the major networks have just said we won't even show them anymore because our lies have not worked anymore. We can't just plain dummy down a propaganda. So they don't even show them. And even they're saying now, even this nuclear, which are the nuclear energy, these so-called experts all represent that because that is their industry. Without freaking nuclear energy, they don't have a job. They don't have anything. They don't have a speaking part. And they spent their whole lives in it. You don't think they got a 40 in agenda? Even you'll hear them say now, we just don't know. And that's the scary thing about it is we really do not know. You know, and like I said, the Nevada test st studies are out there. And the United States government holds them close to the vest like the freaking hawks and wolves to this day. They're out there. They're there. Like I said, when's the media going to dig in and expose those studies? It's plutonium. Plutonium is the evil killer in the bone marrow. Scary shit. Stay with me. I'm going to be putting up as much as I can find. I'll keep doing these videos on this subject matter. The more information I gather, my book's on this. Man. It's great. I mean, it's got a lot of great information in that book. Got a lot of research for a lot of years. Kevin Blanche.